What's up everybody? My name is Ron Empire and welcome to my channel. So in the last video I uh, was talking about how to find iron ore. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you guys how to get iron ore. And we're going to go with the YouTube character. And uh, I'm going to drop off the Glurch Eye for now. So we'll do that in a different video. Let's see here. What else have we got on this? Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of some of this for now. And we're gonna drop this off and then we'll we'll be on our way. Now it looks like uh we need to do some more watering, huh? Uh, oops. Let's go ahead and water some of this because it seems like they've nerfed or made some changes to the way gardening works, because I um I don't remember having to like rewater my plants. So I don't know what's going on with that. Right, well, I'm gonna put this away. Let's glow two loops, yeah, okay. Alright, well let's um let's head on out. I'm gonna put this away actually. There's also Food here. There's food here. I'd probably stick this here for now. Put that in the bar. Now some ore, ore here. I'm gonna probably throw this in. Oops. And uh, since we're going to the iron biome, we don't need that anymore. Okay. Let's see, is there anything else I need to worry about? Maybe I should get a... Uh... Nah, I'll, I'll leave it. That's not even important. Alright, let's go. We're going to eat our food there. And then we'll look at the map. So, I showed you guys how to, how to get the tin in that one video. And then we went and killed Glurch in that other video and I showed you guys how to make the uh, the room to get the trader and now we're going to look for iron so iron is going to either be this way this way or this way it could be around over here or here but I think the easiest thing to do is just pick a direction and uh, and go for it so I'm gonna go ahead and just go straight down Digging through this. Ooh, hey, let's uh, let's check this area out. See if there's anything worth picking up. I think we just got some fiber there, which is nice. Okay. Oops, I just killed the firefly. Interesting here. I'll just go ahead and pick up some of these wood. Could be useful. Oh, you know what? I think um, we need to go get some bridges just in case because usually when you go towards the uh, iron biome. Um, we'll have to cross a uh, a canyon of some sort, and so we're gonna need to make sure we have enough bridges to go across the canyon. Already, we've got all this little extra junk. 
I'm gonna put this away. Okay. So let's go ahead and plant some of these right now, since we're already here. So let's get back to looking for the iron biome. So we're going to go straight down. And I'll just go ahead and throw that bridge across this. Wow, looks like it's a huge lake, huh? I see um, another X spot here. So there might be something interesting here. Nope. Okay. Okay, those are fiber. It's going to be very useful to have. break through some of this. Some of these interesting crates. We might find something. We got a fishing rod. How about that? <laughs> a wooden fishing rod does kind of suck anyways though. Um, Alright, it's not that big of a deal. Let's keep going. We got some more mining points. Let's go ahead and add that. Get some of that. Add that. Down. Okay, I mean, there's a couple of coppers here. I guess I'll pick it up. It might actually be gold, too. Okay. So we're just going to keep going here. over that just because it is there's a fishing pool so let me go ahead and just dig this up and we'll just go around it so fishing pool is increases our chances I think of getting fishes Now I did I did spend some time fishing using my regular offline character and uh, it looks like you can you can just fish in any um, in any water area and still be able to get um, the fishes and level up your fishing skill easily by just picking up junk. You don't necessarily have to actually get the the fish to level up. You can pick up junk to to get that. Well, how about that? We got gold. I don't need the root seed here, but we're already, our inventory is already full, huh? Look at that. Okay, so this is like a straight shot down. And we're hoping to get, okay, looks like this is the iron biome. Because I can tell from this this guy's BBIs. And that's roughly how you can tell, because that is a mob that is for the iron biome. So here we are. We are in the iron biome area. And here's that canyon I was telling you about. And 
my guy typically is, is a mob for the iron biome. There's probably a path across too over there. I'm gonna avoid him for now. But I'm pretty sure we're in the iron biome right now. Yep, looks like it because the tile set is all is all gray. Well, nope, this guy we we don't want to be we don't want to be meleeing this guy. He's he's tough. You want to avoid meleeing because he, he can stomp the ground right in front of you. So that that boss you wanna not melee. Cause he he'll he'll smack you right really hard right in front of you. And it's he it literally one shots you too. So whenever you see that giant troll, you, you definitely wanna avoid uh, melee combat. Those are the iron, and we are at a point where we need to eat food. Here, that will help pick up the that loose item there. Okay, I'm gonna drop down the repair station. We're gonna repair. Well, first we're going to need to salvage something. Let me salvage this, this shovel. Oh, hey, it looks like... Oh, no, we actually had scraps. I didn't need to, sho I didn't need to salvage that shovel. shovel. I turned out I, I had scrap parts right there. Well, that was a mistake. That's okay. All right, let's go ahead and... The, uh, the iron ore there. Yeah. Let's go ahead and drop this so you can see. So that dark area is the uh, basically the canyon that separates our biome for, um, from the uh, the iron biome. And we were lucky, actually, because there was a land bridge going across over here. So there was that little land bridge here. So we got lucky with that. Didn't have to like use the uh, use the uh, bridges. And so there you have it, guys. This is what the the iron biome looks like. And I just went in the opposite direction of the clay. Because the clay was north. I just went one direction. So I mean if you're looking for a tin, and you go up you go up here, you end up in the the iron biome, then you can just go the opposite direction back because the the tin wall uh, the um, iron walls were actually slightly harder to the to mine. This is gold right here. This is another example of where gold can be found anywhere. Um, see how we got that gold now. So yeah, the the tin, the, the sorry, the um, the stone bi uh, biome is a lot harder. And so you'll want to get that, you know, tin pickaxe instead of the uh, the copper pickaxe. So if you if you end up like looking for tin, and you 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 run into like the iron biome, then just just go look for tin somewhere else, because this is going to be a lot harder to mine without the um, the tin pickaxe. But now, as you can see, I was I'm able to like clear this fairly easily, and I got my mining skill up. Nice. Okay. So let me see if I can find some more tin here. We'll go back and um, 
craft the uh, the tin workstation, or sorry, the iron workstation. What I'm doing here is I'm I'm trying to see if I can show you guys how to find a uh, a ring of rocks. And a ring of rocks. I'm actually currently carrying the ring of rocks because um, I had an extra one on my uh, on my other world that I brought in from this into this game or into this world. But the uh, ring of rocks here. It's something that you'll be able to get from this biome right here. The uh, the stone biome, the rock biome. So this is the stone of the ring of stone is actually inside the dirt biome, and the ring of rocks is inside the iron biome. Right. Um, so this this is actually a stone wall. And this is the ring of rock. And this is Ring of Stone. I don't know why they call it Ring of Stone because I guess uh, it, you can find Ring of Stone in, in dirt, but it's confusing because I'm actually in a stone biome. Um, and so they named it Ring of Rocks. So the other thing too is that you want to equip both of these at the same time to get the set bonus. So let's say I took this off, right? That set bonus, the 49 mining damage, it's yellowed out. So, and see how like I'm currently only wearing Ring of Stone and that's that's lit uh, white. So once I equip this, the Ring of Rock and Ring of Stone lights up as white and that dark yellow now lights up as, as the set bonus being completed. So I'm getting that extra mining damage to be able to knock this out easily. Now this guy, you want to be careful. Okay, this is another mob. Um, because he will he will shoot fireballs at you. And it is actually a, a, uh, a fire debuff. So you'll lose health over time if you get hit. So we're going to... We're going to knock this out. And I'll show you what, it, what it's like. See how he's shooting his fireball? Oops. So I want to do range damage on him and not go toe to toe with him. Okay. And he didn't drop anything. Kind of shame. Normally he drops something. Okay. Drop this down. I'm just going to move around here a little bit. Let's see if there's anything else in this area that we can pick up. So I'm looking for the shinies here. Okay, there we go. This is really easy. This is so we got we're getting really lucky because the ore is actually inside the the sand sand walls, and it doesn't really take a lot of hits to to get the ore in the sand wall. So it is possible to get ore inside sand if the sand is actually inside the um, the stone biome. But otherwise, um, the ore will either appear inside the uh, the stone walls, and then the uh, the sand, if the sand is in in the uh, stone biome area. I see, I see little shiny sparkles on that side over there. So we're going to go towards that. Oops. So we're getting pretty good it's, uh, iron here. Might want a couple more to show you. Let's go up this direction, see what's going on over here. I think there's something on the left. I don't know if that's... That's a river lake or something. Yeah, it looks like it's a river. Because I wanted to show you what to do with a carrot. If we can find a carrot. Carrot rock. Plant. That looks like it's water. Okay, yeah, 
that's 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 a fish pole. So what I'm sh I'm trying to show you right now is is how to find or where to find the uh, the care rot and what to do with it afterwards. And that the care rot is another plant that is specific to the stone biome. durability zero here on that tin pickaxe oh, let's see I knew it here we go let's go ahead and drop this down we're gonna repair this right, and then pick it up again put it back down here I guess for now right, let's see if this is this is water or just or the carrot because I, I don't remember it's probably water yeah so let's keep going here so I, I want to show you that plant for the biome okay so here if we if you run across slime and you see a slime track like this right that is let me put this light up here this track right here is the next boss the worm boss right and you'll see you'll see that it'll be a slime track all all the way around the, the the map so if you keep following this right and going this way you'll see that it's an, it's an actual circle going around the entire um, the entire map. And usually you can walk across this. Oh, there's something here to loot. You gotta loot this. Put this down here. You might actually get lucky. You see that giant um, giant troll or ogre or whatever? He's the one that you want to avoid. Uh, direct melee combat. And this guy is a little bandit, a little miner. He runs around. He's he's not bad to melee against at all. But this guy, you you want to stay as far as possible. And he's really slow too, so you can actually range damage him down. And these guys, obviously, you want to range damage them as well. Okay. Okay, there we go. He's de I'm dead, but I should probably eat something. So my health is low. Yeah, I'm looking for for that carrot plant here. Yeah, it's not. I see gold over here. This is not bad. Not bad to have. Okay, so there we go. So though on the on the left side here you'll see you'll see the two you hear that rumbling? See that that's the that's the other boss that just went by. And he usually follows his track, right? There's an actual circular circular track around the entire entire map. It's, it goes like probably around here. And it's probably the other edge of the trap is uh, the e edge of that track. It's probably here. It's a circle around the base, around the the core. So you'll go like this, and if you keep going around this track, it'll come around full loop. So he's he doesn't really attack you. He just um, he just ignores you and keeps going around in a full full loop. If you happen to be in his his path, then you're gonna get damaged. Um, but you don't, obviously you don't want to be in his path. Alright, so let's see here. What can I get rid of? Alright, uh, I mean, we can chuck the root seed. The root seed's not... Well, I don't want to chuck it. I just want to drop it, I guess. Okay. What 
else can I drop off here? What do I not need to bring back with me? Okay, I'm gonna stick this here. So we can pick up. Oops! No oh, crap. <laughs> Let me go ahead. Okay, the carrot came with us. I got the seed now. Okay. Or maybe I can salvage the fishing rod for now. Or leave. Well, let's see. Let's take a look at what this is. Okay, it's another item. All right. Well, why don't we just go ahead and go back to base? Because, uh... Because I'm already full on inventory space. But yeah, I wanted to briefly show you this track here. So you can get an idea. Oh, hey, there's gold right here. Let me go ahead and pick this up again. Oh, there's something over here, too. I'm surprised the uh, the fireflies didn't die. It's kind of interesting. Alright, you see how, like, this um, track is all... Oops. Yep, yeah, okay. Come on. I want, I, I want to pick up the seed and take it with me. So that's another trick here is that you can hold something in your hand and then you can um, carry it back with you. Oh man, I got this guy chasing me now. He's probably going to chase me back to base too, isn't he? <laughs> oh, that's okay. We'll, we'll take him. Oh no. Oh, he's, he's gonna probably come back with us. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I got died too. <laughs> I shouldn't have moved. So yeah, if you're in the track, you're you're gonna die. So don't be on the on that track. Alright, so let me go ahead and drop off this. Or let me see if I can sell this fishing rod. How much it's worth six. Oh, okay. I'll take the six coins. That's fine. And we also have iron. So I'm gonna drop this iron in here. We're going to take that iron with us, or, I mean, uh, take that gold or copper bar out and put that copper bar in here. And we got tin. Let me go ahead and drop the tin in here. Oops, I thought I had the tin in here. So we're going to go pick up our, our body. And then I'll show you what to do with the carrot. Uh, seed once we get it. So what happens when you die? Well, it'll show you where you died. And if you go there, if you're not playing hardcore mode, you can go run towards your your last um, your death spot, the last spot that you died at, um, or any of the spots that you died at. There'll there'll be a a tombstone. Um, that you can. Um, recover your body or uh, the the inventory um, where your where your body died at. So when you die, basically your backpack drops. That's really what it is. That's all it is. Is when you die, your backpack drops. 
So I'm just going to run back towards there. And I'll show you the, the tombstone. And pick up that heart seed, I guess. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now all you got to do is just smash it. And you get all your items back. And then there's stuff that's on the ground because my inventory is full. Yeah, it's because my inventory is full. Yeah, I think there was something else that was on there. It was tin or something. I think it was tin ore that is on the ground. And that's also because I brought the glow tulip with me. So let me go ahead and eat this, I guess. Oops. What seed do I not want? I, I want the... Um, well, let's go ahead and just eat this. Alright, and that way we get the seed with us. So I want, I want my, my thing. What the, I think that's a carrot seed, right? All right, let me go ahead and eat this one as well. All right, so we're, we're right there, so we're not getting killed this time. But that slime got killed. Just run across and pick it up. So yeah, that worm boss. Basically, if you're in his path, you're gonna get killed. That's just that's just how that's just how it is. I thought I cleared this area here. All right, so we're gonna run back. Now the other thing too is that if you try to like build a river across his track, he actually will fill it up with dirt. So it's one way to get like free dirt if you just want to like um, dig up the, the dirt tiles along his path. And then that dirt, um, that uh, that river or lake that you, you've created or canyon that you've created will, will get filled up. So it's not possible to make a make a river to prevent the, the worm from from going through that. He will actually just fill fill up whatever with dirt. All right, so here I'm gonna put this in here for now. It goes right here. The heart berries we'll go put right here. This is the carrot seed. We only got one. So I'm going to show you what to do with that after we sort out our uh, our iron thing. This is the tin, right? And this is the oh yeah, that was the tin too, right? So let's take the tin out. Let's put the copper here. Okay, that was the iron. Okay, so let's take whatever iron out for now, and uh, we need to craft the the iron workstation. So we need uh, 10 tin bars. And this is what, eight? Eight, uh, sorry, that's not what we want right there. So we're gonna get that tin bar out. Okay, that's exactly what we needed. And we also have that, which is fine. Let me put this away. Don't need that right now. Can't do anything with that right now. Let me put that away. Okay, uh, the bomb, this is crude bomb, it's not really that effective, so I'm going to put that away. Now this stuff here, we can actually sell it to this guy. Right, you can actually sell your tombstone for one, or you can use it as decoration. I just personally just like to sell it back to this guy. Get some coins. Alright. Alright, we're going to do that. And now we, we have the resources that we need. We have a dirt wall here. Let me put that away. 
Let me put this stack that over there. Okay, so now we we'll go ahead and craft the station here. Oh, I need two more iron bars. Wow, I didn't realize how expensive that table is, huh? Twenty iron bars. Good thing we got we got the twenty. So let's go ahead and craft this iron workbench. Boom. And that is your next progression here. We got we got the iron table down. Let's go ahead and put that here. And then this one requires 10 iron bars. And this is 5 iron bars. Huh? Did we get enough iron? Yeah, we kind of did, right? This is 5. This is 7. So we're going to need more iron. All right, if we want this and this, is 15. So let's craft this first. Because this is this is gonna open up more um, more gear options, and we don't have enough iron anyways to to do anything about it. Okay, so the other one was seven. All right, let me go ahead and craft this because we need to create the gold. Um, yeah, let me go get the ten bars. Okay, and we'll run back over here. I'm gonna need this, all right, the smelter for the the gold bars. So I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna go get my gold bar or gold nuggets, and then this is how you smelt the um, the gold. Where's the where's the gold? Uh, oh, <laughs> I forgot to put it in my inventory. There we go. That's how you get gold. And then we need to go get some more iron because we want to be able to craft this and this, right? This will be able to allow us to create like a jewelry item, a necklace, because you're going to want to get a necklace. And then also this is an extra backpack. So this backpack here, I believe, is the tin backpack. And I need 10. 10 fiber, right? So I think we have the 10 fiber. So we'll go craft that. It'll increase our backpack size. Right here. Boom. And then we'll stick that here. So now we open up another slot here so we can carry more items, which is great. I'm going to put that here. Okay. So what can you do with the. Um, the carrots, right? This is the carrot that we, we brought back, right? The carrot seed. So if you have um, you have sand, well, if you dig up uh, the rock, the the I guess the stone floor, you can actually plant this because this here you can actually plant it, and I'll show you here. And we do actually have stone at, at our base, so it's not like we don't. Um, have an option to to do any farming on the carrot. So here, I dig that up, and you'll see that you can't you can't actually plant the carrots here, right? So the the carrot here, see, it says a tough seed that only grows in stone. So to be able to grow that, you need stone tiles, right? And you actually can hoe that if you want, or go get go get stone tiles right so here I can just plant that right there for now I'm gonna need my water can All right and I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna water that and then it's gonna grow the carrots back at our base I feel like the ground is shaking or for some reason I don't know So my gardening is, is up, which is nice. I'm gonna move this out of the way. We're gonna replant this. Get some more fiber. That's the fiber plant. And this is a pepper. So we're gonna plant some of this pepper. It's the heart berries. Okay, and then we're gonna plant the glow tulips. Okay, I think 
think that's all the plant was. Oh, sorry. More heart berries, more bomb peppers, and more glow tulips. So let's go ahead and use some of that up. And we got three more. So let me go ahead and hoe that in there. Let me take all that out, okay? And there we go. And we're going to water this up. We're going to also want to get an iron watering can because it's it will make life easier once we have that. I'm going to put this away for now. Okay, and then we're going to place that cooking pot back down. And then we're going to do this, I guess, for now. Yep, yeah, okay, that's fine. And put this away, put that away, and put that up there, put that back in my bar. We got that we can also um, use to farm. Okay. And then, let me take a look at that iron table again, and I'll show you. We're going to want to get this, right? The large watering can that's 10 iron bars. We're going to want to get this. This is really useful too. Um, I think we can craft that now, actually. And then the fishing rod is really nice to have. This is the iron fishing rod. You see how like you get that plus 126? That's why I got rid of the other one because it wasn't very important to have. But this one right here, I think we're going to want to get this. Oops. We're going to want to get this. And so we got the gold bars. Let's take that out now. So it opens up more options here. So we're going to want this, right? This is way useful. And I'm, I'm going to use that for now until it's gone, and then I'll salvage it. And then we don't have enough gold bars, or tin bars, or sorry, iron bars for any of this. So that's what we want to do now is just get the rest of the um, the iron to be able to craft this and this right but my point in this video is to, to show you how to get the iron that's by going to the uh, the stone biome which is here and that's what we did today and uh, the other thing I wanted to show you today was the the carrot right where you can grow that here and uh, that's pretty much it that I wanted to show you. And the rest of this stuff, I mean, you, you know, I just have to go there and dig out all the shinies. And then you're going to want to unlock this and this to craft the um, the other items. And so we'll do that. Uh, I'll, I'll probably just uh, do bring in some iron from my other uh, world here or, or go dig it up myself. And... Uh, yeah, well, I need to make sure I eat something too. And then in our next video, I will uh, show you, I guess, how to uh, kill the um, the slime or the worm that goes around this track. All right. So the next video, we'll we'll work work on the uh, I think it's the is it Glurch or no? It's the um, Gorm, Gorm the Devourer, right? So we've already, you know, taken care of Glurch, and I have his eye right here, and I haven't socketed yet, and I'll do that later. It's not really important right now um, to do that, but we'll do that in the next video. All right, so I will catch you guys later. If you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, um, yeah, be sure to. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Alright, catch you guys later. And thanks for watching.